Sun is shining, Ali Foo. You see how it says, not responding, but it's a liar. A liar and a deceiver. Fuck technology. <laughs> that did not go to the beat. What the fuck? How's it going, everyone? My name is Philip Ribbon, and welcome back to this Elysium. <laughs> Last episode, um, you know, we, we, we honestly did very, things of very little importance. You know, we talked to a guy over here. He was racist. Uh, we, we talked to... We contact Sylvie? I think we contacted Sylvie last episode, and, uh, yeah, went down here, found a windbreaker, didn't want it, and that's our life. So today, this episode, we're gonna walk over here and find our good friend Joyce, who I've been calling Grace this whole time, but don't worry about it. This coin-operated viewer has been banged up. Inoperable. What a shame. <laughs> Looks like the rest of the city, am I right? Uh, I know I just said I'm gonna talk to Grace, but I'm gonna talk to this guy first. You hear the distant squall of seabirds. Fascinating. How about this guy? Better wash your mouth around me, boy. <laughs> Alright, how about I take your bag? My bag. <laughs> Yellow plastic bag. Oh yeah, I need this to pick up trash, I think. Hang on. Tools. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm such a gangster now. Alright, let's look in the trash. Hell yeah. Is that a bottle? Um... The fuck? Oh, okay, okay, you just put it in the bag. I was like, what in the name of God are you doing there? A splatter of bullet holes lines the walls. Fantastic. Didn't they say, like, Martinet, or... Martinet had, like, a civil war? Or was that Revachal? And Martinet's in Revachal. I think that is the truth. The ad reads, broken window. Tibbs has windows. Good for Tim. God, what a guy. Tim. Bottles all over the place. Why is there a separate thought for each of these? I think that's because they're signs. Two roundabout north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is to Cape Side Apartments, Martin A. Pier. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Where you at, girl? Oh, we got a bird here. Hello, bird. <laughs> you gonna let me inspect ya? A lonely cormorant surveys the sea, indifferent to your approach. Ah! I forgot about the cormorant! A cormorant? What an auspicious sign. My head is actually- <laughs> like, my brain is not actually a brain. It's just a jumble of references from things that I enjoy. What do we got here? Oh, more money, some magnesium. That's great. Where the fuck is that stupid little kid? There he is. Hey, little shit. Guess who's on this side of the fence now? I eh? can't believe you didn't take the shot. Fucking coward. Wait to right. run like a clan. Next that, time that, that you I did. that shit at me, you better take the shot. Oh, yeah, well, what are you going to do, little kid? knuckles have white, holding on to that fence. She's been here for days. Days. Seething. Seething. For days with K K Kuno. I was about to call him Capo, but that isn't... Not what, not what Kuno is. I've just been watching Sopranos, a uh, garden hose. This won't be of use until the snow melts. And when I say I've been watching Sopranos, I've been trying to watch Sopranos and being disappointed it's not Breaking Bad. Uh, there must be another way into the building. Did you say that, Kim? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. What do we got? Chairs and tables eaten by rain and rot. Well, rain doesn't have a stomach. But Another splattering of bullet holes on this wall. Cool. Gotta love bullets. We got uh, more... Trash? So, so, what What was that other thing? An orange bum hat. Feeling twitchy. Get more reaction speed. You know... Let me see. Because my rhetoric is my best one. Or, or it's my tag skill, at least. Which I don't know what that even means. It doesn't seem like I can raise it more than the others or anything. But, uh, what, what did it raise? Reaction speed. Oh. Eh. Eh, I don't want it. I like my rhetoric. I want my rhetoric to stay high for some reason. These barrels are half full of rainwater. Very nice. It's very smart. Just a closed door. But you look at it suspiciously. Alright. <laughs> Gonna bust it down. The fuck? What are you doing to it? No, <laughs> what, what are you doing to this door? Right. It, it seems like some machination of some kind has happened, but well, let's not dwell on it, right? Uh, can I reach that thought? I can't reach that thought. Okay. Mm, nothing much more for me here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I was like, I'm gonna find Joyce, and I just immediately wandered <laughs> in the next direction I saw. Ooh, ooh, but wait, I need to pick up the trash, because that's the only way to make money in this world. The belly of this boat shines like it was recently painted. Nice. Like it was recently painted? Or it was recently painted. <laughs> Cape Side Apartments. Very nice. Uh, Rue saint Guillaume. Roundabout North. Great. <laughs> I love all the street signs. Definitely necessary. Uh, what do we got here? Hey, here There's a girl up there. Hello. Did she spill the paint? 
I don't know. The Let's ask her. The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent oh, yeah. rushing hey, down Clara, through the good to see you. you <laughs> wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the, the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Over to me. I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. What else do you want to know? Day well, birth, why is your, you know, type, last name the, the Skull? last time I was tested for Hep C. Could be useful. Uh, we just need to know your- You just want to know your name, little lady. No need to get defensive. Don't use that tone with me. I am the law! Uh, let's start with your blood type. Go from there. <laughs> yeah. When were you last tested? Just answer some questions, Ask okay? Away, pig man. <laughs> I don't promise to answer. Despite the sass, she puts the brush aside. Yeah, you keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? What are you doing to the wall? Know anything about the recent I ain't murder? I no snitch, Pigstein. Thank Go you. She wrinkles her nose. In someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. You say that, but everyone's pissed Actually, scared of the fucking union. There is a shortage of people who talk to us in a Jim normal, calm, informative manner. Yeah. You weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. That's true. She's got a point there, Kim. What do we do now? Keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? Fucking mouse pad. Lieutenant Whatever. Furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. What? She nods disdainfully towards the woman performing maintenance on the boat dock next to the pier. Is that a glitch? Hatred? Disgust? It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. Okay. The woman on the boat does not <laughs> notice her staring. She looks like a that ghoul. That on her. Someone's mm -hmm. got to keep an eye on her. Ah, uh, Zon, Ozon of course. is an archipelago. Thank you, it's Two like days video. travel away from Rivershaw. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and upscale boutiques. Rarely have reason to visit Martinez. Fair enough. Uh, who Could is she? Be the Wild Pines rep. We should yes, talk indeed. to her. I, I know that already. She's <laughs> a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. Cool. You just a big waste of time, then. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't right. be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing okay. her off is our best bet. Good Sounds good. Idea, Wackiness piggies. coming right Run up. Along now. Fuck her shit up good. Impound All that right. boat while you're at it. I'd like <laughs> to watch her swim back to us on. Awesome. Awesome. You bother me so much, Cindy, and I really have no idea why. I, I think it's just because you're not doing anything. You're just sitting here painting a wall, being like, everyone should do something, and those who don't are stupid. It's like, well, what are you doing, dip ass? Uh, what are you doing Can't to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting uh -huh. a beautiful mural, an aerial graffiti visible from wow. low orbit. I sort of doubt that. I haven't that. really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. She studies the wall, suddenly pensive. Uh, so what, you don't know what to write? Why are you so committed to facing the building? I have an, opin an opinion on this. You'll wanna yeah. hear. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna have to stop you. This is hooliganism. Yeah, actually, I don't have an opinion. I lied. I mean, I don't give a shit. Thanks. Do your thing. I'm uh -huh. sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. Yeah, I mean, it's not coming any other way, so maybe take what you can get, you fucking she asshole! the opposite. No way, Rhetoric. Oh, thank God you were here. All right, well, catch you later, Cindy. Your back, Ungulate. You've got What the eyes. fuck does that mean? You've got eyes on me. Sure, yeah, the biggest gang leader in the world, Cindy the Skull. That's why she wastes her time staring at a wall all day and not painting anything. Inside the frame of a motorcycle in repair and the tools used to disassemble it. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Uh, root. Root through the garbage. Is locked, I assume, is that noise? All right, cool. Love it. Door. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's locked. Right. The Hello? The door rattles against your knuckles, but there's no response. The Hello, door police! Again, but this time, you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Yes. Stop banging on the door. <laughs> I don't want anything anymore, strangers inside. Hold on. Who am I speaking to? This is the police. <laughs> Open the door! The police? Everyone uh -huh. knows the police don't come round here. Hmm. The hallways echo with her cackle. Please, let me inside. It's cold out here. I'm not joking. No. I already told you. I won't uh -huh. be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. 
Yeah, and that's definitely your job, isn't it, cleaning lady? Yeah, uh, that's definitely within your job description to keep out the police. Don't All right, whatever. Maybe uh -huh. someone there will. She trails off, leaving the sentence that unfinished. Door. Very good. There must be another entrance to the east. Aw, oh, thanks, visual calculus. Kim, tell her we're real policemen. Madam, I assure you, hmm? we are real police officers. The lieutenant repeats dutifully. There is no reply. Just faint sweeping sounds inside. The Knock door again. rattles again. But this time, you... Oh. Stop banging on the door. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, old lady. Freaking ornery ass. Uh, looks like there was more construction here once. Decades ago. Oh god. Cool. Did they just never finish it? Or did it just like, you know, fuck it. <laughs> it broke and we're not fixing it. That's fine. More magnesium. Very nice. I'm getting stocked up on healing items. That shit's real nice. Uh, said I had something new in my inventory, but I think it's lying to me. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Docking reserved for residents of Rue de saint galon 33A. Very nice. More bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich by the end of this. Your room in the whirling isn't much bigger than this sloop. Rad. It's a big old sloop. This is worth more than you'll. This is worth more than you'll ever earn in all your life. Well, how could you know that? Thoughts. That Striking seems woman pretty rude. Leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good afternoon, officers. <laughs> I'm Joyce. She extends her hand and greets. Joyce greeting. L. Messier. I represent messier. the board of Wild Pines. She's messier the than harbor. most. <laughs> you gentlemen must be from the RCM. She steps closer and holds out her hand over the railing. Joyce L. What does the L stand for? RCM? What is that? I'm a little foggy here. What gave us away? Shake her hand. Do not shake her hand. Uh, what's the Thank L stand you, for? My maiden name. Cool. Her bony hand dangles from the sleeve of her oversized raincoat. Nothing what gave us away? Thing. I've said it to every drunk in town and you're the first one who's responded. Oh, good one. That's that's relax. a good one, Joyce. She meant it in jest. <laughs> all right, I do have to relax. I, I get, I get, I take things personally. All right, I'm I'll glad to her see hand. you here. Her grip is tight and cold. Like steel, uh -huh. there is strength there. If she wanted, she could sink her nails deep into your skin. It's like my sister. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Gladly. Well, thank you very much. That Joyce. is good to hear, madame. My he colleague opens his will take the lead on this interview. <laughs> I should let you know that he is recovering from an <laughs> unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure Quite. you <laughs> of his ultimate competency. Ultimate competency. This isn't normal There's kind of competency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief, <laughs> even. <laughs> this is a tactic. Nicely done, Kim. It Let's get her. quicker than a shooting star. But did the hmm? lieutenant just wink at you? Fuck yeah, oh, best friends! She turns to you, unfazed. I wish you a swift recovery. In the Thank meanwhile, you. you have my full cooperation. And the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Right, uh... You're on a boat! Uh, tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What can you tell me about the strike? What can you tell me about the lynching? Do you know something about these tattoos? You seem rich. Can I have it's some money? what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? Why Look not? At that lady. <laughs> Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. <sighs> what nice fabrics. <laughs> what lustrous hair. Uh, what a nice fabrics. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. Uh -huh. Why, <laughs> dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes. Red. From the cold, her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. Yeah, she's just a, a, a painting of all the unattainable things in life, isn't These she? These are the kind mm -hmm. eyes of the rich man that seem to say yeah, yeah. everything is possible. Ah, <sighs> Jeffrey Bezos. Within reason. Yeah, so? Now look at you, you misery-clad simian. Uh, Barely hands. able to tie your own laces. Your yeah. armpits are lakes. A scythe of booze precedes you. A scythe your hair booze. sticks to your forehead, and your underwear feels uncomfortable. That it does. You're poor. Poor as balls. You can't <laughs> ask this person for money. You're too... Ashamed? Well, I'm not ashamed. What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. 
I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. As I should be, for even considering it. This is a woman, and I'm a man! Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I am pretty ashamed to just be begging random people, everyone I meet, for money. I should be making my own maybe goddamn money by you now. Could ask her for some stock tips. Yeah. That's a maybe. Right. For a job. Right. But you're sure as hell too ashamed to ask for cash, buddy. Well, thanks, Inland Empire. I'm saying, so glad I have you around. If there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't you know, hesitate to ask. That ain't that bad. That ain't that bad. I've been getting pretty lucky. Let's keep talking to her. We'll see if we level up, and then if I, I might put it in volition and ask her for money. Uh, you're on a boat. Yes, I am. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. Uh, uh, she have a name? A boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19, oh. because that's the type of sloop it is. Okay, but what kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure it? craft. A 19 pacer. Nice. It also <laughs> happens to be rated for Category 1 racing. Though these days, I mainly use it for business. Okay. But what kind of... <laughs> how do you My like sloop, it? I like it a lot. It's it the eel hips, baby. The eel's hips. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Right, I think I have a handle on the Good. boat thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she takes a sip of her thermal cup. Uh, Alright, what can you tell me That's about the lynching? things, I'm afraid. She falls silent for a moment, contemplating something. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the mm. sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Of okay, course, I, mean, I mean, I have to do have it. introduced ourselves. Right. I am Lieutenant, Lieutenant hands her a piece of blue plaque from Precinct 57. Right. Uh, I am also Lieutenant Kitsuraki, and that is also my card. And this Definitely, is my card I have not Precinct lost 41. my badge. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. Why she is returns that, Detective? the Lieutenant's badge. Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My lost badge is related I to that. I see. She looks so increasingly worried. So, are you worried. saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? It's possible. After a night of heavy drinking, I lost all memory of my life and the world. I could have eaten it, for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, this city, oh nothing. Oh dear. She sighs with confusion. Sadness, even. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to respond. Well... I do believe you. You, did, you, you, you responded, though, did you? <laughs> I simply can't imagine what you gain by... Faking such a condition. Nothing. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. The best damn of one you know. I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Is that right, She's Joyce? a professional negotiator. Mm -hmm. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Come on! She's a negotiator. Nice! Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. Alright, surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm she going puts to down break protocol, cup. I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to uh -huh. want to see something very tangible. Alright, Miss You're Middle really, Manager. <laughs> but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Like Reports what? from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union controls the terminal. So it goes to reason. The union is selling They're profiting drugs. from this trade. The right. company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Yeah, and everybody respects my authority so much. That's why you... I need to do this favor for you, right? Or Whatever. She picks the cup back up. You can recover your badge. Though, mm -hmm. if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. The fuck do Detective. you know, Joyce? The word well, the in closes the notebook. All right, excuse us for a moment, madam. What up, dog? <laughs> Hang on, let me check my shit. Why does it keep saying I have new shit when I don't got new shit? Stop it! All right, what's up, buddy? This is not going quite as I hoped it would, Detective. The lieutenant's voice is hushed. Well, how did you hope it Honestly, would go? I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and you know, not volunteers to be her henchman. Oh, Kim, I'm so goddamn sorry that I didn't become. 
perfectly random for you. What the hell? You do nothing. So we're henchmen this woman now. This is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. Well, what do you propose? That we don't investigate the drug no. trafficking? If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union, or uh -huh. that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What right. I propose is, we ask her, <laughs> And your boss, you'd just be like, it's briefly, fine. <laughs> but do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her okay. it's done, and demand for her information on the lynching. Well, duh, Kim, that's the deal. What the hell, man? You're, you're like you're like undermining me, but my confidence here, and then being like, well, ultimately, the best plan is exactly what we were going to do. It's like, all right, cool, thanks, bud. <laughs> great for great for the input. Uh, we could just, you know, find my oh, badge. That would be fantastic, but do that we it would. Time? Fuck the coasters, sticking to cups. Basic centimeters. Mm. The situation Very might true. have changed drastically by the time you locate it. Time is of the essence. Okay. We could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. Alright, well, let's get back to her then. What up, Joyce? No, yeah. Don't worry about it. Good. Yeah. What can I help you with? That's of all for now. Did. I'll be right back. Quick save! <laughs> what up, girl? Good. Give me money! What can I, I am sorry. It just doesn't come out of your mouth. <laughs> That's fair. You're what up, girl? Good. <laughs> yes, I am. What can I help uh, you with? Uh, da, 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 da. Tell me about Wild Pines. What, what do you do? We do. I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It is uh -huh. a giant undertaking. Right, your job. There was a touch of this. Break that one down, there. maybe. She wants to merely represent. So what do they the Pines do? Pines' core competency is logistics. Uh -huh. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See Amazon. those airships there, blinking? Uh -huh. Those are the shipping side of things. And All that right. is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration. Offshore platforms. Cool. The Wild Pines Group is one of the original Revisholian Indo-Tribes. Companies awarded hmm. royal monopolies by the king. The, the king? himself, centuries ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. Curious. Uh, who are the other Indo tribes? L-U-M, an unknown entity known as Brightest Star. Unknown? All right. Uh, you're in good company, it Why, seems. Why, thank you. She does not register the real meaning of the remark. Uh, how much money does Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can uh -huh. tell you that last year, the company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. Wow. <laughs> That's it? I thought Wild Pines was supposed to be big time. Numbers like that mean nothing to me. The money I owe is so much less than that. Uh, 20 billion. Is a lot of money. <laughs> but I'm gonna kind of fuck with her here. Uh, that's it. I thought Wild Pines was supposed to and be big to time. Think, there are years when the group books losses in the billions. A wave hits the sloop. She grabs the mainstay for balance. Well then, dog. <laughs> it looks like booking in 20 billion real in revenue one year doesn't mean shit if you lose billions a different year. Wild Pines employs 72,000 people, all of whom have families that depend on their salaries. It right. is a tremendous responsibility. Well, where does Wild Pines get all these billions? They started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Easterlers 250 mm -hmm. years ago, when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantanga on behalf of the Suzerain. Gotcha. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. Right. And it's funny how they get none of those billions. All right. Probably helps to start out with a royal monopoly. <laughs> what does such a human, huge system want with a place like this? That's all I needed to know. About something else. Probably helps to start out with a monopoly, you know eh? more than you let on. She takes a sip Certainly and looks it you helped, over. But most of the original Indo tribes have failed or been absorbed. To survive, 
Wild pines had to grow and adapt. No suzerain did that. I guess so. <laughs> it's like saying Exxon had to grow and adapt, you see. They just, they just absorbed the other gas companies, but they worked really hard to get where they're at. It's like, you're so full of shit, Joyce. Uh, what does a huge system want with a place like this? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners? She gives you a little smile. Who are responsible smile. for moving 8% of the world's cargo? 8% of all cargo in the world? It's quite the endeavor indeed. Well, you don't keep it moving. Workers do. The company's nothing without them. We yeah. built this district. She says, calmly. Well, no. You hired people to build this district and then told them to live there, and that was their quote-unquote reward. <laughs> Joyce, Wait, I know your fucking game. There it is. She owns up to it. It's so true. All Got the her. best parts of it. Rue de oh, yeah. saint -Gislain, with its bastions. The right plazas, and cracked pavement. meteor and mosaic. Even some right, of that the is old broken. street lamps have been put back thanks to the investments from the WP. She points behind you where the seawall rises. Before Martinez was swallowed by the industrial harbor, even uh -huh. before it was part of Revachol, long before Terminal B was erected here, the Pines built it as a resort for its Revacholian employees. Great. Why do a I care? Getaway. For a weekend or a summer holiday. For who, then though? came the revolution. But that's another matter. She takes I'm a here to make sure the Pines can fulfill their responsibilities to the place they built. With your okay. help, <laughs> hopefully, says her warm tone. Okay, tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. Uh, what can you tell me about this strike? You know uh, something about these tattoos? Ow. Oh. Tattoos? The man who was killed. She almost takes the photo, I'm but then stops. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Hmm. So you know something about the tattoos. Fine. Let's return to it later. Why? How's you looking at the photo tied to the Better lynching? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I oh, hope yeah. there is something else I can help you with. Fuck you. What can you tell me about the strike? Everything. Right up she to, smiles. but not including, trade secrets. Okay. Wait. What if I want to hear about... Come on. What do you think the answer is there? Uh, what is your role in this? Precisely. I have other questions. What's your role in this, really? I believe the official really? title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, That's a full-time job? I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. How does that make you a grocery clerk? Makes you more like a courier, like a messenger and boy. How are the talks going? They're not. That's the ah. problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. There we go. Wait. She just admitted that the lynching and the strike are connected. <laughs> Got him, reaction speed. Let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. Tell me more about this behemoth. So the strike is connected to the lynching. Yes, I believe there is a connection, but that's a subject for later. Her eyes narrow. Uh, tell us more about this behemoth. What can I say? The union employs a giant covered in tattoos. <laughs> she a pauses. racist giant. I guess that's part of their big tent organization now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> How are the dogs going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. Right. And when <laughs> did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. She yes, thinks. in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. Yeah, we're, we're, we're the same, Joyce. But destroyed mm -hmm. beginning... December. It looks at his notes. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he granted the union in prior negotiations. This hmm. isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. <laughs> there have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time, their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Right. Ludicrous, even. It's meant. I see. Uh, what happened to this Gomon? What are their there demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Oh, yes. Every I'm very worker, curious. A member of the board. Oh. Well, that doesn't really make sense, does Most it? Most <laughs> of the workers probably don't know what that means. Right. I like it. I don't know what to think about that. Over-aggressive commie posturing. <laughs> Seems like they have no idea about business. Forget. Forget it. I wanted to ask so ask something else about the strike. 
And it seems like they don't really know in anything about defense, business. Another said, demand democracy. Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. But most of them probably don't even know what that means. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time <laughs> the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature yeah. of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Just no. so you understand, <laughs> Not gonna happen. this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also right. kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I have to admit it. The workers can't be kings. The king is the king. The king is dead. Long live the workers! What are you gonna do? Man, it's hard to know how to feel about this, isn't it? Because that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But also, didn't you just say that the Martinez Terminal handles 8% of worldwide shipping? So, if that's the truth, how much in percentage are they doing of the entire Wild Pines group? It seems like a pretty significant amount. It's like, maybe they have a point. But definitely not enough of a point to push this hard. Because you're right, 72,000, like 7,000 people just don't have a voice in this and they're directed by the 2,000 that uh, I guess do. Like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't everyone be in the union? Right, it's just a Martinez union. It's not a union of the Wild Pines group. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed uh -huh. tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. Right. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Do you Behind hear? The whirling We've only talked about it five times. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Excuse oh, yeah. me, from whom the looks up from his notes. about this lynching? Good question. I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one the whose very name advertises that? his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. Oh, have I met this Call Me Menyana? Uh, wait. So, wait, the boy is at the gates. Huh. The gates. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm too stupid. Uh, blah, 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 blah. what happened to this Goma? Mr. Claire told him to... How did he put it? She pauses to compose herself. Fuck off, midget. Gomon tis short of stature, you see. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Not Keep cool. Keep in mind... This is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. All right. Uh, the scabs at the gate. Did you put them the there? scabs? She raises you her brow. You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the union refuses to? Confused. Don't you just <laughs> to no, I mean scabs. Let's call them stripe breakers. Where you put them there, right? You're right. I don't know what got into me. Some of that degenerate dock worker lingo was rubbed off on me, it seems. Oh, I see. <laughs> you mean the huddled masses of champ? Okay, I get it. Uh, let's call them strike breakers. You put them there, these right? If strike breakers were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I it could not share it with you. Not yet, at least. It's sure. implied. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Okie doke. Uh, tell me about this union boss, Mr. Everett Clare. Mr. Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Of really? Of course not. Everett <laughs> is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo <laughs> where you and I have blood. If nice. you were to prick it with something sharp, you could see it oozing out. A knife, maybe? No, a rapier. A rapier. You sound like you're about to take a rapier oh, to heavens, him. no. We get along just fine. All right. Yet, now that you mention it, I can't stop imagining that black treacle just dribbling down his double chin. She stops and smiles. Is he that bad? Can't be that bad. Say nothing. He is the most corrupt <laughs> individual I have ever seen, and I deal uh. with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, mm -hmm. then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Wait, there are two yes. of him? Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for Sweet. that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when <laughs> one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Ah, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty smart, huh? The term limits, you see, with a funny right. little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. 
Well, what about the Union itself? Outside the Brothers' Clare? The Dave Ardeur's Union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Sure, I know the Emergency Act, too. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The Brothers' Clare came and transformed it into a... How do you say? She hesitates, looking for the right expression. Amanda. The Debardeurs are a crime simply. syndicate. Sad right. as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Great. Refreshingly <laughs> honest, officer. She nods. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Evrat and his brother. Mm, she turns and to your you. opinion, detective, if I may ask. Mm. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would she you explains. say the Debardeurs union is... An effective advocate for the right of the local working men. A giant leech sucking the life out of Revishal. Basically a socialist mob. I prefer to not have an opinion on these things. I mean, for all definitions, they are basically a socialist Thank mob. Thank you for being <laughs> candid. Sadly, yeah. Wild Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. What are you going to do? 8% of the world's shipping. Mr. Claire told so him to... sorry. God damn it. One more thing. You said something happened in the I'm elections. I'm you asked. There yes. was a woman, <laughs> the previous forewoman of the Union. She yeah. disappeared. That's right. Here? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore. Or coming to work. Ever. End of Curious. story. Curious this indeed. Forewoman. Her name? This forewoman. Her name. Sadly, <laughs> the company records do not even give a name. What? She's just forewoman. In private correspondence, Holly. I don't even know if it's a sir or given name, and I don't have access to the union's files. Wow, okay. Uh, some kind of extortion, Indeed. probably. The company suspects foul play, but there's nothing they could do. It was a union matter. Are you dead serious? Yeah, you really have given way too many concessions to this fucking union. Are you dead ass? It's like they're a d entirely different company. The point of the presentation is... These kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. I'll shoot Thank him. I'm gonna shoot him. Man. We'll be just fine. Yes, indeed. Well, is that really all? Well, that's all I need here. Let's of change course. the topic. How else can I help? Well, I guess it's time to get to your favor. But it did tell me that Ace's eye is almost done. Or Ace is low. What does that do? Break the women and... Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> Alright, tell me about the drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone nah. is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revishol, with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. So weird. Like, the background, like, flows and merges. Like, behind this, the dialogue thing, it, like, moves. It's very weird to my brain. Uh, alright, continue. For what, man? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL, Sweet. and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, Damn, they party in Revishal. Can't make from the stuff. Well, let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to Revishal through yes. the terminal. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual mm. production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north Makes of sense. here. Wild Pine uh -huh. seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to mm. say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean. We're in logistics. <laughs> it's our business to know. Is it, and though? No. <laughs> as far as the company knows, the union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. All right. And you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the dock workers' union. Still, right. She raises her pony chain finger. has its weak link. Uh -huh. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Uh Okay, the lorries. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they uh. reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they're vulnerable. How right. convenient that they're stranded like beached whales at that roundabout. Uh, yeah, do we just start cracking open lorries under probable cause and Perhaps being like, we're searching them all? A number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Yep. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be you my waiting boss? for a crucial shipment. You my boss? She gives you a knowing look. Her <laughs> irises are light green, 
like the river Esperance in bright daylight, mm. upstream where it's clearer. You really love describing Joyce's eyes, her clothes, her skin, her hair, how beautiful, how great, and how awesome she is. Just shut I'll up. All right, Brain, I'm if done with it. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Cool. Well, why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded there like that, is no. it? We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road mm -hmm. company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However... She pauses, looking to the this sea. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the Trade Committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. She looks north. Thousands of litres of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, right. at least this solves one mystery. Oh, Kim. Burn it. Yes, yeah, indeed. Lieutenant. <laughs> Why I had to call East Motor Track. And <laughs> open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in. On my motor carriage. I am uh. sorry for the inconvenience, mm -hmm. Lieutenant Kitsuragi. But we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Well, I, I kind of do, but did you just know we were going to walk up and be like, hey, we're the police looking to investigate, and you just, like, get us to go do it, or were you planning to do something? Seems odd. Seems odd. Like you knew we, we would be coming for the body now. Weirdo, uh, what proof do you have that the Union is involved? Okay, I made up a mind about, my mind about the smuggling investigation. Uh, why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? Yeah. On more than oh. one occasion, <laughs> apparently there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. Sounds about we right. The company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Damn. Well, she's my your chance. Points towards the right about. All right, cool. Uh, I made up my mind about the smuggling yes? investigation. We will take this case, probe the drivers, see what it Excellent. yields. She takes a long sip of tea. According to my reports, there are at least three hmm? lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully, uh -huh. one of them will know something. It yes, may indeed. come to nothing, or it may just blow the case Apples. wide open. <laughs> I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. In Sweet. the meantime, let me know if there's days. any other God way damn. I may be of assistance. Right. Heard of billions! One more time. Uh, what is this then? Oh, Ace is low. Ace is low. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. So crazy. What the, the fuck even the is world, that? The Aces Low is just some cool Revachol thing. Politically neutral. In uh. Revachol, it still holds revolutionary connotations. Also, have you looked at Lieutenant Kitsuragi's clothes? He wears a bomber jacket, just like the ones worn by aerostatic brigades. And those cargo right. pants <laughs> look like they could fit tools for hot fixing your burning aerostatic. You should ask him about this. All right, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Uh, two empathy toward Kim Kitsuraki and one Esprit de Corps, the roots of the RCM. Fuck yeah. That's super rad. I love that. It's like a trait system, but you can, like, you can forget them, right? Yeah, you can just press A to forget them and get some new ones. So many. There's so many. It's so awesome. Well, actually, I would like to talk to Kim about that. Yes. <laughs> What's up? Uh, tell me about the case. Um, I want to talk about mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I you. don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. We'll work better together if we have more mm, rapport. That's a fair point. Mm -hmm. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Uh, you're wearing a revolutionary air brigade jacket, what? aren't you? These? He zips the it's large just collar. seasonal clothing. And those look like airman pants. Good for storing tools Where and... Where is this going? You see, Kim, I have this place in my head. I develop new ideas and connections. Interesting. I think it's called a brain. It's right. no mere brain. Yes, a brain. No, it's more than that. Anyway, no, normal people don't have this. It's like a mind laboratory, a spiritual R&D division. No, a palette. No, better yet, a painter's atelier of concepts. Uh, it's more than that. Anyway. anyway, in this special place, I've come to suspect that you have some kind of thing with the revolutionary air I brigades. I do not have a thing with revolutionary air brigades in particular. Just air brigades. Okay, then. I wanted to become an aerostatic pilot. 
Then uh -huh. I turn 10 and realize we no longer have an Air Force. <laughs> That's really sad. Are you sure the revolutionary has nothing to do Absolutely with this? Absolutely nothing. The revolutionary mm. must have added a little luster to it. For Come on. For its Kitsuragi. He will never admit it, though. Absolutely I'm nothing. Noticed. And, okay, the revolution employed a more forward-looking H-Roto design. Their blades uh -huh. were foldable, and their pilots were better trained and motivated. I see uh -huh. this from a purely tactical standpoint, of course. Uh, of course. Thank you. My mind is satisfied. Good. Mm -hmm. Glances impatiently at his electronic wristwatch. Uh, I don't think you just come out with this one. You don't look like other people around here. Um, do you ever talk with what yourself? You, you know, like when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The awesome. lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Wow, the got him. Hmm? is a police officer of the old school. His concerns uh -huh. are material and extrinsic. Well, but this perfect isn't match. An old school case. That's very true. I get it. You're one of those old school detectives. So, how do you, you know, <laughs> so you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or bumping the mic or warnings or anything? Uh, get it? One of those old school detectives. So what? That makes you the new school? Damn right. God spare us. For real <laughs> detective work, nothing beats a good notebook by your side. True that. I got a garbage bag. His That's small close. Blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. Yeah. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Good. That's all for now. Let's yeah. change the mm -hmm. subject. All right, let's leave. Let's go check out the lorries, eh? And can I check like how many bottles I have? Nope, that that's a hat. I didn't. I do not need that. It contains nine bottles. Sweet. I only need one more. One more, and I'm a rich man. Hey, man, can you tell me anything about the now lorries? It's turning into a kind of a oh. snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? Uh, tell ya. You seem like a man who knows about drugs. Oh, man, me and narcotics go way back. He folds his hand behind his head Has and leans back. Had some good time surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? Sure, dog. Oh, <laughs> Tell me about those it. Those <laughs> days are behind me. Uh -huh. There are other addictions in my life now. Right. Why the inquiry, my man? <laughs> uh, I'm need to get. I need to get high. I'm looking for a hey, dealer. Man, <laughs> that's serious criminal talk. Uh -huh. Are you trying to pull some sort of an entrapment thing on me? No. Entrapment. Is a practice whereby Shut an up. officer I know. of the law All right, let me be straight with you. Trying to figure out who's smuggling drugs on the terminal beam. Lead, sir. Mm -hmm. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not yes. me, man. No way. I don't Didn't need any trouble. You. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms, and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Uh, why are you still hanging Not around? About the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo. And it gives me time to work on my rhymes. Good for you, Tommy. The rhyme smith. <laughs> this is quite credible. It goes with its cadence and way of speaking. Well, who do you think could be conducting the drug Look, trade man, then? I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a uh -huh. guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. Fine. You seem so sensitive you about say it, he's though. Lying, sire. Really? You wouldn't? Because I kind of would. He sounds like a fucking liar. Uh, he's a poet. Hit him with your best verse. Oh, why is it so low? My conceptualization reading conceptualization is so high. Fuck you. That's all for now. Goodbye. Thanks, Tommy, for absolutely nothing. It's very great. Good for the lorry. Haphazardly litter the surroundings. Maybe I can go back and talk with Apples. Man, <laughs> he'll have more to say. Apples, how you doing? Looking for something? Hmm. Uh, you're lorry men, right? What's your stance on drugs? Drugs? They're shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. <laughs> he takes a long drag on his cigarette. He smell of booze and cigarettes. What's different about narcotics? <laughs> you know where that shit comes from? Sarah oh, yeah. Mirza. Safri. Ilmara. They take it's the money from rock. our <laughs> local junkies here and then uh -huh. use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. Curious they know they theory. They can't beat fair fight. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. Uh, 
you guys think you're the victim of the crack epidemic. I see. Uh, so I take it you're not smuggling drugs out of Martinet? Listen, I agree. It's our responsibility to keep this poison off the streets of Revachol, right? That's all I need to know. You're not, not smuggling in, drugs? No doubt. I'll never betray the purity of my tribe. Mm -hmm. I almost believe that so because you're, you're so racist. So you mm -hmm. don't know anything about drug smuggling through Terminal B? I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. But what are you hanging around here for? Those other camionists have what left. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Classic. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those right. little kips sneaking here all that night. If they touch uh. my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. Oh my god, they're taking all of my apples. There was a bunch of spill boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. Hmm. The Say man nothing. pulls mm -hmm. on his cigarette furiously. Uh -huh. Probably still thinking about mosquitoes and ass cancer. Right. If not you, who's running drugs to Terminal Isn't B? Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady eyed mm. sus Samaran. Sure. He spits on the ground. Little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Who's There's that? There's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Oh, really? He's just selling the his The way this guy stuff. talks is so funny Stuff he stole after he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Uh, where do I just find him? follow the smell. It smells like... Uh, this is a video game! Oil ...when you're nearby. <laughs> the lorry man lets out a raspy croak at his own yes, sense of yes. humor. Where is he? Yeah. Looks like uh, I offended your partner there. I could always Too kill bad. you. Ceiling's That's always a choice. A little bit south of here, the other canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourselves. Okay, I fucking hate talking to you. Shut liars. up. <laughs> it's in their blood. He's not in a right. sagely manner. One hundred percent. I wouldn't be so right. sure about it. Not until we've heard what Ceiling himself has to say. Yeah, no shit. Guess we need to pay Ceiling yes, a visit so. then. Goodbye, fucker. All right, there was a. Uh, my brain said there was a lorry that had an open contents on the ground. I could look at it, but I have no idea where the fuck my brain was talking about. A bold slogan: Humanox covers the truck. Shit, she said something about Humanox, but I don't fucking remember. There's just so An much old dialogue in this game. Stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing Sweet. toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air. With the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Ah, uh, who's A this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the Squanderer, the greatest the of the Philippian kings of Revachol. Son I'm of so Philip sorry, I'm touching my II, face so much. the Opulent, father of Philip IV, the Insane. As Great. you look <laughs> up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chess piece. Uh, what did this king do? Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Uh, well, in what way? He blew through I don't the know what whole profligacy means. treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachol. Gotcha. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution. An end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. Uh, fair enough. I have Philip other questions. I don't fucking care about this. I remember this. This took like fucking way too long to read all the way through, and it's just about the fucking king that just ruined everything. Oh boy, a wife beater. Tank top, gym vest, reeking of sweat. Sleeveless shirt isn't it's the best choice if you're not afraid to show off your masculine upper body in that hairy chest. Ooh, yeah. Um, actually, my jacket might be better, though. One a spirit of core, one physical instrument. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's better. I feel like that's better. How am I losing sap off eight? Oh. Yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably like that. Straighten your back. Keep your poker face. I do like that. Sneak under their noses. Stun with immense panache. I like that one, too, though, goddammit. Whatever. We're good. We're good. Let's keep going. Hello? Fucking hello. <laughs> Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. Great. Uh, I can't go back there. So where the hell is this lorry my brain was talking about with a bunch of shit spilling out the back of it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just not here. Uh, what up, buddy? You know anything about the drugs? Eh? The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. 
She you nods along girl. to something on her radio. A photograph uh -huh. is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, so dog. an mm -hmm. ambrotype from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. It's Ew. the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Nothing. Grandma? Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is gray like lead. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. Well, well, never mind. Oops, I was actually I hoping know. you could tell me that. Something. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam in the 50s. Right. She adds with content. Wait, what's so bad about you the 50s? You have these small jewels and everything is made out of plastic. Why do you need plastic when you can make She's the gloves. world out of amber? Uh, when else would you be Back then? Back in Mexico, during the time of the revolution. She, the smile the returns to her face. and cafes are filled with the young people. Filled. I was on my way to see a new Boyadero picture starring Gabriel Buendero. Cool. Until you came along, that is. The look she gives you is accusatory. Right, well, Why I have not? some other questions, I, including yes. I just want to leave. I, I, can t I can talk to you later, lady, but uh, I'm a bit fucking tapped out, and I think I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world. Have an amazing day. I'm me. You're you. I've got to go. So, peace out.